everybody. This is Susan McGee. I'm really sorry that I'm not going to be able to meet you all in person tonight, uh, but the weather, um, it is what it is, and it's kind of bad, <laughs> or it looks like it's going to be bad. So, um, And it's just unfortunate timing that we're not meeting next week as, as a class because of the um, holiday, but um, no worries. We're not going to lose any ground. All of the material that we have is um, online on our Blackboard course, and um, we won't lose any ground. We'll just keep rolling right along and then we'll actually just meet in person in week three. Um, so you'll have work to do for the first two weeks, obviously, and I'm going to explain some of that um, in more detail in a, another recording. But first, I want to explain to you what my concept is of strategic social media. And actually, it's not just my concept, but I guess I want to just explain um, how I'm using that terminology and how that's going to affect the course. So strategic social media is really just using social media to achieve a purpose. You can use social media uh, personally um, to fulfill a strategic purpose. Uh, when did I get on Twitter? Like last year or the year before? And when I first got on Twitter, I said, I'm going to have 500 um, followers by the end of the summer. And I did. I actually had more than that. Uh, and so I strategically set out to build a Twitter following and it did take a while, but I did do it and I did it by engagement. So we'll talk about more about that later. So that was just one personal strategic goal that I had and I fulfilled it. Um, you can also obviously use social media as many brands and businesses are doing to sell products, to increase brand recognition or name recognition. Um, but it's not just to sell products. Um, you could promote events. You might want to promote a band. You might want to promote a fashion show. You might want to get someone to sign a petition. Uh, you might want to uh, form a women's march and go marching um, on DC again. So there's a lots of different um, strategic purposes for using social media. The point is that you have a clear goal, um, something that you want to achieve, that you understand exactly who your audience is because doing that and knowing that will allow you to choose the social platforms that you should be on and what kind of content you want to curate, meaning bring in from other sources um, or create on your own, like this video. If I um, stopped this video and then just went into my, um, um, my iTunes movie, I could just add a little music, maybe some fun little captions and I could call that social media. Uh, anyway, so I want you to use this course to further your own career goals and interests. Um, and I'm happy to meet you wherever you are. If you're not a social media user, you, and there are, you know, some of us who've never been on certain platforms and that's fine. The point is, is to be open-minded, not to be afraid. Let's just jump in. I certainly don't know anything, um, everything about all platforms. I, I have a, Facebook account, which I've used for uh, business, for personal, um, for advocacy on behalf of other people. I have Twitter where I've done the same and um, LinkedIn, but I really don't know anything about Snapchat, although I really want to learn. Uh, so, so really what we want to do is we want to really come together as, as a group and really collaborate and really, um, you know, share our knowledge and share our expertise. And that's really what it's all about. Um, I can teach you the basics about social media marketing and campaigns. I can teach you about audiences, analysis. We can look at demographics. I'm going to point you to research. I'm basically your facilitator for doing all of this. But no one person is going to be able to teach you everything about social media. It's just changes too fast. You just have to cultivate an attitude of, hey, I can learn this and I'm going to jump in. And I think that once you have a real grasp on some of the underlying principles, um, a lot of the technical stuff will really come. And that's why um, one of the um, articles I want to put up is a job description for social media manager. And one of the... Uh, qualifications is copywriting. It's really important to know how to write for microblogs, which would be like Twitter and Facebook, and also for like um, longer blogs and, you know, be able to do scripts if you're going to, you know, be doing videos and, and things like that. So um, nobody's expected to be an expert. 
and we're really all in this together and hopefully um, we're gonna produce some good um, good content and and have a good time doing it that that's really my goal so more later but that's my kind of my basic general what I would have said to you if I was looking at you all in person tonight I really do want to make this worthwhile but I also think that we should be having some fun so let's try for that okay all right I'll be back later.